So today I'm talking about a P0780 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0780 code? Well, it's a shift malfunction. And so what does this mean? Well, basically the computer is picking up that the transmission is not shifting correctly. The computer is using different sensors to know how fast the input shaft is moving, the output shaft is moving, the RPMs of the engine and different things like this. And it's able to calculate and know if the transmission is not shifting right. And so when it sees this, it sends out this P0780 code. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. One thing to note about this code is be sure to look for other codes because they can help point to what the problem is or failed component or something like this. If you don't see any other codes, be sure that your code reader can read transmission codes because most OBD2 scan tools, they can only read basic codes. To read all transmission codes, the OBD2 scan tool needs to have this feature. So be sure to check your documentation on your scan tool and be sure it can read transmission codes. Because when you get this P0780 code, very likely there's going to be other codes and those are going to help point you to what the problem is. And so what are some possible causes of a P0780 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty transmission fluid or clogged up transmission filter. So if you can go check your transmission fluid, it's a good idea to go and check it and be sure that it's not low or really dirty or anything like this. Many vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can, it's a good idea to go and check the transmission fluid and be sure that it's not low or really super dirty or anything like this. If the fluid does look dirty, it might be a good idea to go have the transmission fluid changed, especially if it's overdue for that fluid to be changed, since it should be changed out on a regular maintenance schedule. And also keep in mind that there's a filter inside of there that should also be replaced as part of regular maintenance. But the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty transmission fluid. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad shift solenoid. Transmissions have a lot of solenoids built into them to help them shift gears and move the fluid around and things like this. And if one of those goes bad, then that's going to cause problems. Like I said before, if this happens, you're very likely going to get another code. So for example, if you also got like a P0755 code, shift solenoid B, then it's a good idea to go locate that shift solenoid B in your particular transmission and do some tests on it and be sure it's good. Because the next thing that could cause this is a bad shift solenoid. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad sensor, like a bad input or a bad output speed sensor or something like that. If one of these sensors go bad, they might just be reporting bad information back to the computer, which is throwing everything off and causing other codes to happen. But again, if that happens, usually you're going to get another code. So for example, if you've got a P0720 code, output speed sensor circuit, then it's going to be a good idea to go test that output speed sensor and be sure it's working correctly. Because the next thing that could cause this is a bad sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. If there's like an open or short and the wiring harness going to the transmission, then that's going to cause problems. Also keep in mind that any blowing fuses related to the transmission, then that can also cause issues. So if you can, you can look at the wiring harness, be sure it looks like everything's plugged in good. That doesn't look like there's any damage to the wiring or anything like this. If there is a wiring problem, then it's going to cause a component inside of the transmission not to work. So for example, a wire going to a shift solenoid or a wire going to a speed sensor or something like that. If you get a code for one of those components and you go test it and it tests good, then the next thing to do would be to check the wiring going to that component. But the next thing on the list is going to be some kind of wiring issue. And the next thing on the list is going to be that the transmission is having some kind of mechanical problem inside of there. If there's like clogged or restricted passageways going inside of the transmission and the fluid can't flow correctly or it's got like a bad valve body or something along those lines. If that happens, you're very likely going to get other codes. If you do think it's some kind of mechanical problem and the vehicle does have a dipstick, try to look at the fluid and see if you see any metal shavings or anything like this. Also, if you have the fluid and the filter changed, try to look at the bottom of the pan and see if you see any metal shavings. There'll be magnets down on the bottom of the pan. And if there's a lot of metal shavings on it, then very likely there's some kind of mechanical issue going on with the transmission or the torque converter or something along these lines. But the next thing that could cause this is a mechanical problem. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of problem going on with one of the computers or some kind of issue going on. And this isn't too common. This is fairly rare. Usually if you've got a P0780 code, it's going to be something else. But it is possible that there is something going on with like the transmission control module or the engine control module or the powertrain control module or something like that. If you do think it's a bad computer, one thing to go and do is be sure that your battery is good, that the alternator is charging correctly, that all the cables are good with no corrosion or anything like this that they got good connections because all these computers, they need a good stable power supply or that can throw them off. It could cause them to do weird things and just have issues. They also need a good ground going to them. But like I said, it's fairly rare for the computer to have some kind of issue, but it does happen sometimes. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. 
I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0780 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.